Hello, beautiful people. Yes, so I am finally about to sit down, polish my toenails, and do my nails, put some nails on. Um, maybe it'll make me feel better, but um, I'm gonna show you a couple of videos to where I'm talking about the, um, my daughter, she's popped up sick and we don't know what's going on with her. But the treatment that she's getting in a hospital in Texas, um, how rude the nurse is while I was on the phone, the rudeness in her voice. My daughter says the rudeness on in her voice matches the rude a look on her face. Um, you unhappy with your job? Quit. Just quit. Sit your ass at home somewhere and read a book and go hungry. And be broke because what you're gonna do is get your hospital sued eventually so um i'm trying to be in the light so i won't look so drab which i do anyways but i'm just coming to y'all to let you know that yeah she's in the hospital and y'all forgive me but i want to share this video because it's something that black people go through every day every single day out here in the world and racism is real and it's everywhere 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 and i don't care if it's from the darkest to the lightest skin tones if they can hint that you're black the racism is there a lot of them try and hide it or whatever but I'm gonna share these two video clips that I made just setting and um, the reason why I feel I need to come on and, and let you know about the video is because it's like I'm literally talking to the person but actually I'm talking to you guys. I just want you to hear my words. Um, feel my pain. And stand up for yourself, black, white, Asian, because yeah, they treat the, the, the white people that seem like they're, as they call them, white trash or whatever. You go through the same thing when you go in these hospitals and stuff like that. And people that um, seem like they in there for drugs and stuff, they just mistreat people. And everybody is not who they assume that they are. So... I just want to share these couple of videos and I don't want y'all to feel some kind of way about it. Um, uh, hopefully I can get back to doing my regular videos and stuff like that. Um, like this entertainment center behind me, y'all. It's busted. You see that TV? <laughs> Old school. And my husband took me on a long drive yesterday to help ease my mind and my thoughts on my uh, youngest daughter. And it, it worked and everything. And I got some good footage of some Amazon trucks. Y'all, these are the 18 wheelers. They got some, they got some product. You hear me? They got some product. <laughs> but uh, I hope and pray that I can be my usual self real soon, guys. Um, I'm lost for words. I really am. I'm lost for words about my child's health and also about the treatment of how she's been treated in the hospital. And then it brings up everything. You know, it just brings up everything all over again. All over again. You never can uh, live it down. So, here this little brown girl is signing off. Talk to y'all later. Um, hopefully, I can bring you a better video later today. We're going to throw some stuff on the grill and just try and make a day out of a day. I love y'all, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Hello, beautiful people. Um, I'm sitting here trying to force myself to eat some Popeyes shrimp and a biscuit and I have some coffee um 
been trying to eat this one little meal for over an hour. I was just on the phone with my daughter as she speaks to the rude nurse. If you could hear how rude she was. Y'all, if I was there, I would have her director, whoever's over her, we need to talk. So, I told her to call the husband and have him get up there because he needs to be there to take care of these people. She's having um, the migraine and they're climbing. So if you don't take care of that problem, we're going to have the other problems approach. So you telling her that you don't know when you'll be able to get her something for pain. And she's been in there for two days. You should have been knowing what you can give her for pain. they sowing. They will reap it. ASAP. ASAP. And it is now 225. She talked to her around 220. Therefore, so I can know which nurse is on duty at this time. On this Sunday. I feel so sorry for the people who can't speak for themselves, um, stand up for themselves. Because if you get treated like this and you can actually speak for yourself, I can't imagine anything else. Do you think people are just coming to the hospital in need of your care for the hell of it? No, they're not. They're there because they're sick. She don't take any type of medication. So if you're thinking that she's wanting pain meds for whatever reason, she don't even take Tylenol. Never has taken medication. Unless it's dire. I can do nothing but shake my head. I can do nothing but shake my head. All right, guys. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Hello, beautiful people. It's me. How y'all doing today? I hope everybody is good, being blessed, um, and the Lord is watching over you. Um, y'all, I am a little hot mess today, but I just wanted to come to y'all because I can't come with my regular video, which I was going to do the clock and stuff like that. If I get the good feeling to do it, I'm going to still do it. But right now, um, I'm going to sit here and I'm actually going to polish my toenails and do my nails. Just to, um, you know, do a little something for myself. But I come to y'all because one of my daughters, my baby, is in the hospital. And she's getting better, but they don't know what's causing her symptoms. So don't be totally alarmed or anything. I will give you guys an update when I know more, which is probably around Tuesday or so. But, you know, she's young, she's healthy, she eats well and stuff like that. So where this is coming from, who knows? Um, not gonna go into detail, but I will keep you updated as far as how well she is doing. But 
what got me today is how she's in the hospital and she's asking the, you know, she called for the nurse and her calls are unanswered. The lady in the bed next to her, which happens to be a white female, is getting her every time she rings the bell. Somebody's coming in there to answer her question and take care of her problem. My child, being black, a brown person, her calls are going ignored. Her feelings of her health issues, um, things that I'm asking her to ask the doctors and stuff are going ignored. And I know they're the physician, but you have a bedside manner and you make sure you take care of your patient. You make sure your patient is well up here with what you're saying to them. You don't shun them. You don't ignore them. She's paying just as much as the white lady next to her. This racism in the United States of America has have to come to a cease. It just has to. And I told her, documentation. You text me every single time you call for someone. You document every time she calls for someone. Document it, record it, whatever you have to do. Because the only way for these people to wake up and learn, which they still not gonna wake up and learn because for some reason there's a hatred there and it's so deep and rooted into them it ain't going nowhere until God just explode them. Explode them. Heavenly Father has got to take care of the problem. That's how deep it is into these white people that they feel about blacks. And no, don't get me wrong. All white people are not the same. As you guys say, I have plenty of white friends and not all of them are the same which I do. But then again, people hide behind their faces so well, you don't never know who you're dealing with. So my thing is, stand up for yourself. And I told her to document every single thing that's going on in that hospital with her and the woman next to her. The woman next to her don't have nothing to do with it. But for you just happen to be a white lady that's asking for assistance and you're in the same room as my daughter and you're getting all of your questions answered, your doctor is there waiting on you hand and foot, whereas my child is not being taken care of as well, which she's not even asking for as much assistance as the other person. I don't know the other person's health or anything but she seems to be doing as well and no worse than my child. I'm so up to here with racism. Um, you know, I know Trump let you all show your faces easily because of his demeanor, but what you gonna do is get sued. I told her, text me everything, text me everything. And the problems that's been ignored, mm -mm. you better hope and pray nothing happens and it be to her downfall, her health, or anything. Because I will sue your ass for everything you're worth. Hospital in Texas, if you see this video, you guys need to get your priorities together. You're there to help every individual to come into your hospital. And it has pissed me off. Everybody, you know, I know I come on here and I'm all happy, jokey, jokey about certain stuff, but some things are real and some things piss you off. I'm a black person and I've been through it also, you know. Guys, I just wanted to get that off my chest. 
ask you to pray for my daughter and her health and her well-being and her care and my patience and my tolerance before I call this hospital and ask to speak to someone in charge. And if I have to get a ticket and fly, mm -mm, COVID, no COVID, whatever, I'm coming in your hospital and you're going to sit down and you're going to talk to me. You're going to make me understand why she not being heard. You're going to make me understand why she feels she's not being heard. She might look like she's 19, but she's in her 30s. She's got common sense. She's an she's a educated person. She knows what you're doing. Y'all, I'm pissed off. <sighs> so, guys, like I said, if you wouldn't mind, please. Prayers up for Chanel. I would appreciate it. And on that note, I'm going to just sit here, guys, and do my nails, try and get stuff ready for dinner, um, cook, and just try and have a regular day, get ready for work and stuff like that because as you know the world keeps turning no matter what you're going through the world keeps turning you gotta be strong and being black you have got to be extra strong everybody want to say oh they call a black card i wouldn't have to call a black card if you wouldn't treat me as if i was black If you treated everybody equally, it would never be bought up. We're not treated equally, especially in the medical field, in the hospitals. I done went to the doctor before and the way they acted about certain things, I'm like, I'm paying you to come in here and feel like crap. That ain't gonna happen. I'll find another physician. I sure will. And before I do, I'm going to bring you down. You're going to know about it. I'm not just leaving. It's ridiculous. I've been through it. Totally unappreciative. No one should be treated the way some black people are treated. And you nothing but a regular person. She's kind. She's sweet. She's loving. She's soft. Spoken. Everything. And that may be the problem too. Which is, I see people all the time and they ask me, why you look so mean? Smile. Because the world, the world, when you walk around and you look happy and you look young and vibrant they want to try and bring you down so you end up with this hard exterior because you need to know before it comes out you already need to know what's really in here and that's why it's here now because when i was younger the bs that i had to go through in the world from having this skin tone Everybody want to try and act like it's not real. Oh, it's real. We feel it every day. It's real. Look at a certain, like, you know, like you trash. You got trash just as blacks got trash. You got good people just as blacks got good people. You got doctors just as we got doctors. You got uh, presidents just as we got presidents. I mean, we all got the same thing. We're all equal. God made you just like he made me. He just gave me this beautiful skin tone. You know what I'm saying? I can't help it because he decided to give me this beautiful skin tone. <laughs> what? Get in your Bible and get your life right. Because you got to meet your maker. Just like I got to meet my maker. It makes it hard 
when you run into people, especially when people come to your job and you sense it, it's one guy I know called me a B-I-T-C-H. And I'm waiting on him to cross me one more time. It's not going to be pretty. We're going to need to be somewhere having a conversation. Let me hear it whispered again. You big enough to say it, say it loud. Say it proud. Speak it. Don't humble it. Speak it out. Don't be afraid to show your racism. If you're going to say it, just say it or shut your mouth. It's going all the way over on me now. And this is not about me. It's about my child being mistreated in a hospital. And I do feel it's because of her skin tone. I'll hit y'all up later. Bye.